Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Lunchbox, and we're going to be working on a go to bed. Now, go to bed is a really useful command to have because we want to put the dog on a specific mat, as you can see, and put them in a downstay position. Now, it's really important to note that when we're starting out, when we're working with the mat, that this is not going to be the same mat that Lunchbox uses as a bed. This is a mat that is specifically used for training and only comes out when it's time to train. When it's not, it is put away. That really keeps the novelty up. But to start, I'm going to go ahead and stand in front of the mat because Lunchbox doesn't understand how to be sent to it just yet. I'm going to toss some food. Lunchbox! Go to bed. I'm going to wait for him. Yes! And the second his elbows hit the mat, I'm going to go ahead and say yes and treat multiple times to imply that stay, just like we would for starting him down. Okay? Tap on the head to release, we're going to do that again. Now, like I said, this is a really useful thing to have, especially for a really movement-invaded dog like Lunchbox. A great place to have this could be the kitchen when you're inviting guests in, but really nice. Lunchbox! As you can see, it's starting to wander a little bit. Hey, oh, 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 oh. That's why we got the leash. Go to bed. Yes, good boy. Very nice job, and I'm not pointing to the ground or anything. Lunchbox is very, very good. So I'm just able to wait for him until he gets into that down position. Okay? Very nice. We're going to do that one more time. And you see it's also really important that I'm standing up straight in between each one as I don't want Lunchbox to think that I have to be bent over in, in order to give him a command. Good job. 